Jane Love here, bringing you a wig review from Lori's Lemonade Stand, a wig boutique. Today we're talking about Americana by Beltress in the color Butterbeer Blonde. Let me show you the sign. Okay, so Americana by Beltress. So I really, really like this piece a lot. The reason why I like her is because she's full, but she's not dense. She does not have any permatease in her, if you look in here. There's no permatease. Um, and she's not very dense at all, but she's full. And the reason why she's full is because she has a lot of hair and the way that the hair's layered. Now, I don't know about you guys, I like a full wig. I like a wig to have some volume and Americana does not disappoint at all in that area. She has lots of volume. But I don't like a ton of permatease because I think it starts to look unnatural when you have too much permatease. The great thing about Mar Americana is you can wear her if you like full wigs without worrying about the permatease. So I would say that's definitely one of her bonus points. Also, she's so comfortable and her weight, you would think that she would be heavy because she is a total of 16 inches long, but she's not heavy at all. She's five ounces, but she feels super light on my head. Those are the, the two things that I have been most impressed with, with Beltress wigs, are that their fibers are super soft, super natural, move very naturally, have a natural kind of swish about them, and they're soft. Um, they're not thick and dense. They're kind of fine and soft. So I really love Beltress fibers. I really love Americana because she's so full. She has long layers. Um, now, and I have not styled her with anything but my fingers. And this is pretty much straight out of the box. Um, she's easy to style. She has these long layers that are kind of straight until you get to about your chin. Which you see, she kind of outlines your face beautifully. And then the, you have these curly ends, which just really give her a feminine, soft, lovely look. Let you look at all the sides here. So let me tell you about her lengths. Her front right in here is eight and a half. From here to here, it's about 11 and a half. Her sides are 11 and a half inches. Her back is 16 inches and her nape is nine inches. She has this temple to temple lace front. Pretty natural looking. You can see the knots when you look at it that way, but you cannot see the knots at all because of the amount of hair that she has and the layers. That monofilament cap lets you part her anywhere you want. So you see how easily you can repart her just by running your fingers through it like that, voila. I've totally restyled her in a matter of a second just by moving her over on that side. So I love those monofilament caps because of how easily you can part them and because of where you can part them. I like my wigs parked on this, parted on the side more than the front because I think the middle uh, parts make my forehead look big. So I like that I get a choice to part them where I want. All right, let's talk about her color, Butterbeer Blonde. I have heard so many of my wig sisters talk about Butterbeer Blonde, and I've been dying to see the color, and I finally had the chance, and I haven't been disappointed at all. Butterbeer Blonde has a medium brown root, and this root is longer than it was in Anatolia. Um, the last Beltress review I did. It, uh, it's much longer, and I like that longer root. I think it gives it a much more natural look. Um, she has light ash blonde highlights throughout most of her. She has also has these warm kind of honey blonde highlights, but they're not as much in there as the light ashy blonde highlights are. So she's definitely more of a light, cooler blonde with just a little bit of the warm blonde highlights in her. Um, I do have my curtains, um, windows open on the side over here and it's pretty sunny today. So hopefully the lighting is giving you a good 
idea of her coloring and just how absolutely beautiful she is in her color. I really love this color a lot. This may be definitely one of my favorite colors for Beltress, this honey, this butter, butterbeer blonde. All right, so let's take a look at her cap. So she has this temple to temple lace front. Um, and it's smart lace, supposed to really just blend in with your head naturally. She has this monofilament 100% hand tied knots. You can part her anywhere. She has standard wefting, gives her good shape. Um, this is an average size. Fits my head pretty well. I would say it fits a tad, tad big right here. That's where I have a lot of trouble with uh, average size wigs fitting on my head is right here because I kind of go flat. Um, so I'm on petite average. This is an average size. It's not super big on me though, um, but it's not completely snug either. She has this, uh, I would say these bra strap extendable tabs that allow you to uh, tighten her up to a half inch. She does not have an extended nape. She has the bendable ear pieces. They are not covered with anything like velvet or anything. But all in all, a comfortable cap. And I'll let you guys see her again this way. Again, you see those, those light blonde highlights really dominate the piece, but she definitely has some cooler uh, or warmer golden honey blonde speckled within there as well. Though she, I would say she's more of a cool blonde hair. Again, not very dense, but very full. Full because of the layering and the amount of hair, though she doesn't have a ton of hair and there is absolutely no permatease in her. Her curls are perfectly layered and shaped. I just, I love this wig. I just think she's absolutely beautiful. I really do. I, I would say I don't really have any real complaints with her. Um, if, you know, I would, there's not anything that I just really dislike about her other than maybe if I had a choice having a, a petite cap, um, just because of my smaller head, but I'm used to the average, so. Again, this is Americana and Butterbeer Blonde by Beltress. Thank you so much for watching this wig review. This wig review was brought to you by Lori's Lemonade Stand, a wig boutique, and owner, Lori Powell. Lori's Wig Boutique is located at 13980 Gudera Drive in Rancho Cucamonga, California, 91739. Lori's phone number is 909-803-0310. You can visit Lori's website at lori's-lemonade-stand.com or email Lori at lori at lori's-lemonade-stand.com. Again, this is Americana by Beltress in the color Butterbeer Blonde. I hope you've enjoyed this view. See you next time. Thank <laughs> you.